perfect, perfect. Go. Three, two, one, go. Hi, Hi. this is Dr. Dana El Sharif. I am a board certified family physician. And today we are going to talk about a possible second wave of COVID-19 infection that will take place during the flu season. And we're gonna also talk about ways to prevent it from being very harmful. Can COVID-19 come back? And the answer is, yes, it can. The CDC director warns that the second wave of coronavirus could actually be more devastating and could actually strike much harder than the first. But why would a second wave be more devastating to what we are experiencing right now? Because it will most likely arrive at the start of the influenza season. This could make the second wave worse than the one we are battling right now. During the 2018-2019 flu season, approximately 490,000 patients were hospitalized for the treatment of the flu. And approximately 34,000 cases have died according to the CDC website. During that time, COVID-19 was not a problem yet. Just imagine what would happen during this flu season now that we are dealing with a new virus. During the upcoming flu season, there will be patients needing hospitalization and treatment for the flu, in addition to pneumonia, on top of the COVID-19 patients who will also need care. We need to minimize the number of these patients in order to avoid placing pressure on the healthcare system and overwhelming hospitals, which could then lead to shortage in beds, ventilators, and protective equipment. Here are other reasons why the second wave could be harder than the first one. One, no miracle drug. There are no miracle drug yet that can treat COVID-19. Two, no vaccine. On top of that, we still don't have a vaccine against COVID-19. We might not even have it until the spring of 2021, according to Dr. Fossey. Despite all that, I have good news. There are things that we can do to minimize the potential harms caused from a possible second wave of COVID-19 during the flu season. Number one, flu vaccine. The fewer flu cases and inpatient cases that we have to treat, the more capacity we will have to deal with COVID-19 patients. The flu and pneumonia vaccines, in some cases, cannot fully eliminate your chances from getting the infection, but could decrease your chances of getting the infection. And if you do catch it, it decreases how sick you get. Guys, please do not be afraid of vaccines. Vaccines save lives. When should I get the flu vaccine? Know that it takes two weeks after vaccination to develop protection against the flu. Therefore, it's a good idea to ask your doctor to give you the flu vaccine right before the season begins during the early fall. Pneumonia vaccine. Considering that COVID-19 can actually lead to pneumonia when it attacks the lungs, it is wise to make sure that your patients who are at high risk of developing pneumonia receive the pneumonia vaccines. Did the pneumonia vaccine provide protection against COVID-19? No. What? but the pneumonia vaccine can protect against the type of infection that can lead to bacterial pneumonia. Who should get the pneumonia vaccine? The CDC recommends the vaccine for all children younger than two years old and adults 65 years or older, in addition to individuals two years or older with certain medical conditions, and smokers 19 through 64 who smoke cigarettes. Why should I wear a mask? We are not conducting enough tests to check for COVID-19 due to shortage in supplies. Therefore, we don't know how many infected individuals who appear and feel healthy are walking around infecting others. Symptoms of COVID-19 can take three to seven days before appearing. For example, if you start feeling sick on Thursday and you're infected with COVID-19, you probably were infected on Monday. Just saying. No, don't do the just saying. Wearing a mask can trap your respiratory droplets and stop them from spreading the virus to the person standing next to you in line or even spreading the virus to surfaces like boxes. Respiratory droplets can easily travel if you sneeze or cough. Just please wear a mask when you leave your house to prevent the spread of the infection. The nature of this virus is still not completely clear since it's a new virus. But this doesn't mean that we have to suffer from another wave of infection. 
In summary, we need to do everything we can to stop and slow down the spread of COVID-19. Please get your vaccines, including the flu vaccine. Vaccine save lives. Remember that. Vaccines save lives. Don't be afraid of them. Number two, wear your mask when you leave your house. Three, if you're a high risk of getting pneumonia, then please talk to your healthcare provider about the pneumonia vaccine. Thank you for watching this video. If you do like it, subscribe, share, like. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands.